Yo. Welcome to another Centric tutorial and we are still on converters and today we will be taking a look at the dynamic converter. Now this converter has crashed Centric quite a few times while I was recording this tutorial so don't be surprised if you see it crash. <laughs> I'm just let, letting you know. Alright so um, I'm gonna stay away from terminologies that are too difficult to understand or don't make, won't make any sense to you right now and i'm going to try and make the definition as simple as possible now in its simplest definition the dynamic converter essentially gives you a spring effect okay that's all it does in its simplest um in the simplest sense right so let's get into the example i'm going to use my spline tool to create two points and uh, I'm going to use the rectangle tool here to just create a rectangular shape here and I'm going to select all the points here and just make sure that I have the origin point in the top center like so and I'm going to move this like so almost like a pendulum so let me go ahead and click save like so so the next step is what we want to do now is on the point that connects to the shape here we want to convert that well let me actually hide the shape here yeah, so we want to convert this point to using the dynamic converter so with that selected let me go and right click here convert and click on dynamic and hopefully it doesn't crash and it doesn't crash it didn't crash okay that's great let me click save so now that's converted to a dynamic converter well using a dynamic converter so let's go ahead and see what sub parameters we got here so what we can see we have torque damping coefficient friction coefficient spring coefficient torsion coefficient mass momentum of inertia spring rigid torsion rigid origin drag stick i won't be going into all of these right um but you can go ahead and alter these values um and see what each of them does now what what i'll be focusing on is the one that makes it move which is the torque right here or torque whichever way you pronounce that so if i should click play right now we see that nothing is happening but if I go to the torque and let me just type in a value of one here, press space to play, we see we're getting um, a minimal movement there. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, so let me just increase this by maybe six and see what we have here. So now we have um, a larger movement, right? So we see it going up and down as if it's a spring. Now what we can do with this is let me go ahead and click save again i'm going to turn on back my rectangle and let me press play we see that this is not moving so what, what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the origin point for the rectangle right here um, to the the dynamic link here so to do that i'll first have to export export this value into the library here so with the this point on the spline selected i'm going to go here right click click export value and what can we call this let's call it spring actually spring and click export so now that is in the library here i'm going to go to my rectangle here click on the origin point let me click off of that and move in so i can see the origin point here all right, so now we are on the origin point and what I'm going to do is make sure that this is selected and the origin point is selected and I'm going to make sure that I'm in this section here and right click and click on connect. So now it's connected to our um, spline here. So let me click on save and if I should press play, we see we have that going on. Okay, so you can increase the value of the torque um, or decrease it as much as you want to see what effect it gives and the, the torque basically just alters the angle we can alter the spring 
um, coefficient and all those other values. I won't um, go into any of these out of fear that Synfig will crash. <laughs> um, but and then I'll have to start over. But you can mess around with these values. But the, the main value is the torque, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and just alter this a bit. Although I'm pretty sure it's gonna crash at some point. So let me right click here and insert another point here. Okay, it's telling me that I can't do that. Let me try again, right click, insert item, okay. So let me just insert one point here and right click here, insert item. So let's go ahead and have some fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert these points using the dynamic converter. Prepare for, for Synfig to crash. So let me click on this, right click, convert, and dynamic and it froze yeah all right so let me quit this and uh, open it again so yeah um i don't know what it is with a dynamic converter but it tends to crash um depending on what you do so let me try this again it shouldn't crash now since i restart Right click convert dynamic. Okay, and we're good. And I'm gonna go ahead and change that value of the torque to six as well. And I'm gonna convert this one as well. Right click convert dynamic. All right, and we're good. Um, and click save. That's all I'm gonna do. So it would <laughs> out of fear that it will crash. And let's click play and see what that does. And we get that crazy um, effect there right so that's what the dynamic converter does um, you can go in and experiment further with this um, but I hope this helps you to understand understand this converter uh, a bit more than you already did all right so that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one Yo. Yo.